Okay. So my name is Michael Jones. Thank you for joining us. I'll be your host today. I'm the president and the founder of uh, TMA Blue Tech. Uh, it's wonderful to have you. We, as of this morning, had 155 registrants. Uh, so people will come on and hopefully stay with us. But uh, we announced that we'll start at 7:45, and that's the time. Um, so welcome to to our Blue Tech Global Connect. Um, the idea is to bring together a global blue tech ecosystem and every month uh, really focus on another topic, um, have picked three very interesting companies from three different countries, because uh, obviously this is a global industry. Uh, it's to bring together a very broad audience. Next slide, please. Okay, so um, typically the third Thursday of every month, uh, we will have um, um, a Global Connect uh, webinar. Uh, this week is marine robotics, as you'll see, three great companies. Uh, next month will be offshore renewable energy. Um, August will be big data. September will be water wastewater, because we are both ocean and water technologies. Um, and in October, it will be focused on aquaculture and biomarine. So every month, three different companies, three different topics, sorry, a different topic every month. Uh, again, the idea is to promote the innovative innovative blue tech SMEs and really to help them in their global expansion, which can take different forms, investors, management, uh, academia, channel partners, distribution, joint venture, technology partners. Every company is a little different as to what their needs are. As an example, our three companies today, two are looking for funding and one is not. Um, so as we said, our presenters are going to be Medium, small to medium sized companies. Uh, and as we say, if it's wet, it's blue. So it's both ocean and, uh, and water technologies. Uh, the agenda is 7.45 to 7.50, uh, welcome. And we're thrilled to have uh, Craig McLean, uh, NOAA's acting chief scientist uh, and someone who's been with us a number of times at Blue Tech Week, um, is gonna provide a brief intro. Uh, and then I'll pick back up and kind of take us up to eight o'clock, at which time we'll have 20 minutes for each of the companies, uh, three 10 minute presentations followed by 10 minutes of Q&A via chat. Um, so if the companies start presenting, um, you're welcome to start putting your questions into chat. And then in the breakout sessions, they can uh, talk directly with uh, whoever is there to ask questions. Next slide. So our Blue Tech Week this year is going to be virtual for the first time. It's our 12th annual Blue Tech Week. Uh, you can see a number of the topics on the right hand side. Uh, and on the left um, is uh, the way this the week will be set up. A little different than in the past in that our Friday will be focused on California and US blue economy initiatives and policy. Each day will be uh, early morning for us, 730 in the morning will start can be done about, about noon or 12.30. That means we can pick up people in Latin America, uh, Africa, uh, in Europe, in addition to the East Coast. Uh, and then late afternoon, we're gonna do a couple hours focused on our partners out in Asia uh, on the next morning for them. Um, and then you can see the way this will be rolled out um, topic by topic. We are looking for uh, partners and, and speakers and even topics within these various themes. Our, our um, overall theme, theme for the week is Aqua Optimism, um, Blue Tech, and the SDGs. Next slide, please. So our team a little scrunched up there. Um, we're all a little bit wider than that seems to indicate, particularly me. Uh, but we have a great team and um, uh, we need on that particular slide. Next slide, please. Um, so just a disclaimer, we hope that of the investors that are on the phone, some of them will find something they really like, but we are not trying to express any kind of a uh, opinion as to these companies. What we're doing is putting three great SMEs forward. Uh, so obviously caveat emptor in terms of, of doing your own due diligence if in fact you move forward with an investment. And we of course hope you will seriously consider that. Next, please. Okay, just so you all know, I think it was well spelled out, but if you register the event, you've consented to receive our traditional mailing uh, that allows you to understand what we're doing, uh, but also in terms of Blue Tech Global Connect, and hopefully you will pass that around to others that might be interested and come back and join us in the future. 
Next, please. So um, we're, the, we're dealing with uh, GoToMeeting for the first time. We've been using Zoom, but a number of our colleagues and other agencies or our partner agencies uh, cannot use Zoom. So we are playing with GoToMeeting for the first time and finding some limitations as we go. Um, we've set all of you from for mute from 7.45 to 9. Obviously, when the breakout sessions start, you'll be unmuted and, and hopefully we'll engage with the three companies in the respective rooms. Um, so main meeting controls, I think this is just a little figuring out how to use these, turn your camera on and off, manage the screen sharing, et cetera. And then particularly from seven, sorry, from eight to nine, uh, use the chat function. Um, but notice that you can either respond to everyone or to the organizers only when you're in the chat feature. Um, so just a little bit on, on GoToMeeting if you haven't used it before. Next, please. So I'm hoping that Craig McLean has joined us by this point. Craig, are you there? Yes, I am, Michael. Thank you. Excellent. Well, it's great to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'm going to pass the baton to you. Well, thank you, Michael, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for joining, and I feel honored to be invited to help Michael in kicking off and setting the stage here. And I just wanted to bring you a few words from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And I think many of you would be familiar with our role in the U.S. government and in the ocean community. But for those who aren't, we have both atmospheric science and ocean science, and that includes weather, coastal communities, and the climate science that the United States government performs and reports. So we have a wide range of information and sensing needs in the way that we perform our mission. And for quite a few years now, NOAA has been working with Michael and the Maritime Alliance and the, the blue tech community that he has inspired. And I wanna appreciate or express my appreciation and congratulate him on that work because it's been uh, very advantageous to us to be having a number of opportunities to be engaging with the commercial sector, as well as what I could consider a, a latent opportunity for this nation, which is the further investment and expansion of the blue economy. If we look at the blue economy today and NOAA's role as a science agency to make measurements and to provide and perform um, science and distill it and provide it to decision makers writ large, we have an opportunity and you have an opportunity and we want to be able to enhance this together. The, the current financial measure of the blue economy was constructed by the Bureau of Economic Analysis in our parent agency, the Department of Commerce. And that number came out to be $373 billion contributed to GDP. And the blue economy is growing at a rate faster than the national economy and all of this is, of course, pre-COVID-19 in terms of a summation. But the opportunity to look forward and realize where the nation is going with alternative energy, um, alternatives being less traditional, but what is becoming now even more commonplace, renewable energy, aquaculture installations. We've seen in coming from the White House a, a presidential posting for mapping the United States exclusive economic zone. We need tools and technologies to map, measure, explore, and characterize the exclusive economic zone. That's a 10-year challenge that's been just given to us. We have a presidential instruction to inventory the minerals within the submerged U.S. territory. We have a number of activities, including food security and seafood, that's been announced by the White House through an executive order as well, that really gives NOAA the instruction to pursue what will be dependent activities with the technology that comes forward from the private sector in order to make and measure an assessment of our underwater area that advances our mission. So the economic opportunity is ripe and in front of us. So I, I wanna just give a sense of where we are with autonomous equipment and looking at the three companies or three products that Michael has lined up for presentation here. I think there's a ready analogy to the work that is being done by these companies to build tools and to reach the needs that NOAA or beyond NOAA, this would be using us as a proxy for every state or other federal agencies that have environmental measurements to make. 
we need the technologies that are being developed by what are largely uh, small scale businesses that then take and develop this technology and make it available to the community writ large. We need to be making measurements in the coastal and ocean space in order to have the most informed national decisions, state decisions, and local decisions on these matters. So inside of NOAA, we've developed a strategy that gives us a, an opportunity to operationalize. And I'm going to, to um, burrow in on these terms just a bit. As a science agency, we conduct a lot of research. In conducting that research, the product might be an interesting science paper or an interesting tool or sensor. But the most important thing for us is to turn that into a transitioned and successful operationalizing, if you will, of the technology. So as a commercial maker of technology might show us a tool or a set of tools, we can use those in experimentation and prove their worth in, in our setting, but we can also use those and prove their worth in an operational setting. So I'm, I'm very thrilled to share with you that NOAA has decided to move forward aggressively in this year's federal budget to create an operational enterprise that deals with autonomous equipment. It'll be run through the NOAA fleet office and it will make available tools and technologies to the mission areas of NOAA, which includes the National Marine Fishery Service, responsible for managing the nation's fisheries, the National Ocean Service, which is responsible for the Coastal Zone Management Act and its installation and, and application, the National Weather Service, everyone deals with the Weather Service every day, and we also have the Satellite Data and Information Service, which manages NOAA's global orbiting and geostationary, or excuse me, polar orbiting and geostationary satellites that bring us our environmental measurements. So I think the relevance of NOAA, our seat within the Department of Commerce and our mission space, leaves us very tuned and focused to the opportunities that the commercial sector and the budding and growing $373 billion contributing blue economy has for the United States. So I wanna say thank you to Michael for, for his leadership in helping to keep this theme alive. And thank you to everyone who's joining this conversation and can find new opportunities both for your own local interests, but then also in the national interests. And in particular, in this time of COVID-19 response and impact, how we build our nation's economy in the future would hopefully not be dependent upon how we built it 50 years ago and what we've been relying on, but that we might find new opportunities to be placing our marker and navigate by those markers to build a stronger and healthier renewable economy, sustainable economy that lets us prosper and, and proffer our goods into a global scale. So Michael, with that brief introduction, I express my gratitude for you inviting me here and I will return the floor to you, sir. Thank you. Craig, thank you very much. It's, as always, it's a pleasure to have you here and offline, I'd love to chat with you about Blue Tech Week to get your input as well. So let's move on to the next slide, please. We need to get ready to, to get our presentation. So we have three great companies that will be presenting, uh, Deep Tracker, Hydra, and Subsea Sail, and then each will have a uh, separate go-to meeting uh, room. Subsequently, hopefully you will continue on with them um, to have your direct questions answered. Next, please. Um, and then thank you for participating in advance uh, and register for the upcoming events. And thank you to our, our sponsors and partners, the Blue Tech Cluster Alliance, uh, which is 10 clusters in eight countries, uh, the Brink at the University of San Diego that we're working with. And of course, we want to work with more of you as well. And of course, as always, thank you uh, to NOAA for your mission and, and stewardship and service. Um, 